Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about those tools, Raspberry Pi. And principally, if you're running Home Assistant in your Raspberry Pi. And if you're running Home Assistant in your Raspberry Pi, and you're still using this SD card to boot it, forget, stop to do it. And in this video, we'll explain why you should do, shouldn't use it, and why this one is the best option. Not necessarily this one, but use a SSD, not a SD card. If you're still using it, this video is for you and you're gonna understand why you shouldn't do it. We're gonna explain why you shouldn't use it and what's the other option, how to do it. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not, subscribe and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain how you can use the USB connection for your Raspberry Pi to use as a bootload or to use your external hard drive or SSD as a US main hard drive for your Raspberry Pi, principally that you're using Home Assistant, we're going to explain why it's important for you don't use those SD cards. First thing, let's come in our home system. Here in our home system, we have a lot of devices. And this device, you have uh, temperature settings, you have uh, humid records, you have uh, different plugs connected for the system and that's uh, all this information is collected on this Raspberry Pi. So if I come here, I click and release. Here they say that my DV room at the moment is at 20 degrees and if I come here in history, they will show what's the temperature exactly period of time and when it was on and what was off. So if I come here, I have a period of time and I can select a long period of time and put select. So they will tell me what's the time that was on the heating, what's the time was off, and what was the temperature. Imagine that each entry, it's a really small data that will be entry, but uh, they will use a uh, space in your hard drive or a space in your SSD. And uh, because of this one, if uh, you are using this SD card, all time it's be recording data. And those, if you see, don't have a good uh, temperature expression and that will start to heat you start to lose the properties. One thing is to read. This one is really good for read data and if you start to record a lot, they would start to have a bottleneck of temperature or life cycles. And the Raspberry Pi and the Home Assistant will be a lot of uh, cycles. The same thing for any smart plug. Suppose that I come here in my washing machine and I click it, they will say the time that was on, the time that was off, if I leave on here and all the information I can collect it. So I can see what time that was on, what time that was off, exactly period of time that was on and off. And this one, it's a really small, but it's an entry that will go in your Raspberry Pi. Not necessarily only for temperature, but anything that is logged, any entry will be logged. If you come here in development, states, they'll say all the states that happen and all the function. So if you have two devices, they will have two entries each second or each minute they will be recorded. But if you have a, a lot, a lots of different uh, integrations or lots of different entities, they will look for this data for each one. So if I come here binary room, they will say that's overlay and it's off. The same thing for events. All the events will be recorded. All the statistics will be here. So if I come here and say leave room heating, they will say what is heating and what uh, was the performance in that specific time. My CPU usage, they will say that it's what is going on. And all this one is record. So if I come here and uh, megabytes of uh, run, they will use two gigabytes, continue of the time. Some periods will be high, some periods is lower. So everything that is here, they will be record. And all this in record information will use some data. And the problem that this data is record here. So what's the best solution? This is the best solution is uh, to change for this one. And how you do it? First thing, you need to have your Raspberry Pi Pi installer. This one you can download directly in your Raspberry Pi website. And here you go for open system. And what we need to look, and what we need to look, it's a specific bootload. So you come here in MISC utility images, and we select bootload. Here in bootload, we have two options. The first one, it's always boot for the SD card first. And you have your SD, both have different USs, they will always load first for the SD. The same thing for here, if you have SD card connect and a USB connect, they will load first for the USB 
and at the last they will lo load for the network. What we need to select is this USB boot and select it and that get a SD card, doesn't matter the speed, doesn't matter the size, you only need to have SD card, record this information SD card and insert for your Raspberry Pi. Insert first time, turn on and they will do the adjust. It will take a few seconds until they do this adjustment. After they finish, you can remove this SD card and you always can boot using the USB. In this way, you have all the data protect more stable system. Why it's so important for you don't use it? Because you're gonna ask me, Alan, we have backup in my system, so either that I lose my SD card, I still have the backup. Yes, and this is the other problem. Where I save all the backup? If I open my Raspberry Pi, all the backup, it's safe in the folder backup. Because it's safe in the folder backup, all the backup, it's directly in your SD card. So either that uh, you have done backup correctly every day, every week, or some frequent time, you still have the problem that uh, if this one fail, you lose the data because all the data is still in your SD card. This reason that it's important you to copy this information out for the SD card in the case of fail. And other thing that's really important is for you to don't have a SD card because the chance to fail will be high compared for a hard drive that can be 20.7 working on with a little bit data recording, but they can be on all the time without any issue. So I hope that this video could help you and I hope that uh, you switch it as soon as possible. Don't use a SD card, use a SSD or a hard drive and that uh, you have all your data protect or at least your hard drive with low chance to fail. And if you already did it and you like this video, please don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel if you're not yet and see you next time. Bye.